gosh. Okay, well, guess what? We just had um, another felled cultivation. I've had a lot of those. In fact, you can see I have a whole bunch of felosauruses. I had actually just lost my temper at having that many felosauruses, and I had made a whole bunch of single-use safari nets to put them in. And then I'm standing here, and just as I took out all of the felosauruses so I can swap them into single-use and keep my reusables, I hear the squealing, the squealing. And this guy shows up. Look, we have our own pigman now. We have our own pigman, you guys. He can be our little, he can be our little research assistant, just like Calf has baby pigman as his research assistant. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. He can help me with smelting my tools, and he can be our little friend. And I'm so sick and tired. This one fossil has resulted in two failed cultivations so far. This one plant fossil. So, I mean, geez, if it's gonna give us pigmen, go ahead. Go ahead, I can have my own little pigmen friends down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. But yes, welcome back, guys. Oh my gosh, it has been a very long time. I have been down here for Ever. I forgot how long it takes to do these cultivation machines, so I actually built uh, two other ones and put them in the wall, and I've replaced two of them since then because they keep breaking. But oh my goodness, look, we have our own pigman. What should we name him? I like him. Do you think it's a her? I don't know. Is it a boy or girl pigman? I mean, they're called pigmen, but I don't know. Human has man in it too. I, I'm not going to say that pigmen have to be one or the other. I love how, like, I know that's rot, but I'm going to pretend that's moss. I'm going to pretend that's moss, and that makes me very happy. But wow. It's a zombie pigment, that's why. Yeah. And it doesn't attack. It doesn't attack. It's a little bit scary, but not bad scary. Hi. Oh, that's a little alarming. That's okay. I like him. I like him. <gasps> Maybe he can tend our mushroom garden. <gasps> Do you think he'll take good care of our mushroom garden? But yeah, so welcome back, guys. Um, I wasn't going to bring you guys back in just yet because I was going to, I'm going to swap these out. This is what I've been doing. Put the source down, pop it back in. And now it is inside a single-use safari net and I can put it away. I've done that with all of them. A whole bunch of these, the, the wyverns, the bats, um, the panda bear, the panther, a couple of the cheetahs, they were all in um, reusable safari nets. And after we've had so many felosauruses pop out, I got really angry and I was like, no more! They're using up all my reusable safari nets! And so I went and I made a whole bunch of single use because we have all of that leather now. In fact, is it still upstairs? I think it's still upstairs in the crafting bench even. But yeah, I kind of lost my temper, and I was like, I am so sick and tired. Where did I put them? I think I put the leather away. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, so that that's wonderful. That's another result of spending that day trading in the Village of Light. And now we have a zombie pigman. What's he doing? What's he doing down there? What do you think about that, Nightlock? It's interesting, isn't it? Artemis, what do you think? <laughs> I think, I think we'll keep him down here for now. Maybe, maybe a permanent resident? Because we're getting, look at this, we have a whole staff now. We've got Artemis, Experiment 626. We've got, like, experiment, like, lab chicken. We have an entire staff down here in our staff lounge. Oh, it's wonderful. We're, we're hiring more people. Look, he's even naturally gravitating towards the mushrooms. This can totally work. This can totally work. I can totally see this working. All right, so how's this plant fossil coming along? This is the last one. I've been waiting just, this is the third go on this plant fossil. It's broken two cultivation vats, resulted in one Thelosaurus, and resulted in one zombie pigman. So, it's like a possessed plant fossil. It's kind of amazing. All right, let's hop upstairs. Up, 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 up. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna build another, yet another. Oh my gosh cultivation that because this uh has been taking a little while all right there's four thankfully i'm running low on my cactus greens at this rate so we might have to plant uh more cacti and actually i i had to make so many of these cultivation vats i installed a sink over here so that i can just come over here to get the water i need nightlock do be careful darling i'm gonna push you this way a little bit there you go sir all right Oh my goodness, and now we have a zombie pigman down there too. Things are getting interesting in here, you guys. 
My gosh. We're living it up. Keeping it lively. Keeping it busy. Mm. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the crew, my friend. I forgot I had these down here. Anything in them? Nope, just a little bit of a little bit of bone meal. I think I've got some sand. Yeah, I've seen. Put some sand in here just to see what we get. Alright, I am watching this plant fossil like a hawk. Like, this is the third time. Third time, Experiment 626. You've been watching this madness. Oh, yeah, and then let's finish swapping out the Philosaurus while we wait. But, yeah, this is what I've been doing because I figured, you know what? Oof. And there's different Philosaurus, I'm noticing. And also, when I took out my my untamed Wyron and uh, swapped them out, they kind of hit me really hard. Like, they pack a punch, those little guys. All right, last one. Swap. I think we have several varieties of Felosaurus, actually. It's kind of exciting. So there we go. All of the Felosauruses are put away. We have reclaimed every single one, except for the one that has Yogi inside of it. But yeah, look, we have reclaimed every single one of our safari nets. We still have extra single-use safari nets. There's Yogi. And I think, yeah, here's a stray safari net. That's a sunflower safari net, actually. There we go. Look at that! Look at this nonsense! We are going to be able to catch so many things now. Ooh, I actually have an idea for what I want to do. Oh, finally! That plant finally can stop stopping nonsense, but... Hello, welcome to the crew. Uh, I'm very happy to have you. Um, um, let's see. Experiment 62 ticks. Lab chicken, Artemis, please introduce our new member. I'll have to think of a name and a gender and things like that, an occupation. We might have to do some occupational training with our new zombie pigment. Technically, it was born in our laboratory. I did accidentally bring it back from the dead thinking that it was a palm tree. It's a common mistake that any novice mad scientist can make, trust me. But yes, so we'll have to take responsibility and take good care of that pigment, that zombie pigment. Oh, that's a baby zombie. Oh, no, you don't. Where? Where? How are there monsters nearby? Is it talking about my new my new friend? Can I not sleep in the staff lounge anymore because of the, the pigmen? Because I'm not going to kill that pigmen. It, it's not harming us. All right, let's come up here. I guess we're going to have to sleep upstairs, like in our house. It's not a terribly long walk, it's just, like, interesting. Alright, and actually, one day I plan on, like, burrowing down, and we'll have a treasure room. Like, a whole treasure room. Yeah, see how many times the cultivating failed? Oh my goodness. But we'll have a nice little treasure room, and we can just walk between the basement of the staff lounge and the basement of our house. That's one of my dreams. And we might even rebuild the house one day, but I kind of like the style. It's classic, you know? If I'm going to build a new house, I'll build a new house in the cherry orchards. Also, while we are up here... Hello, Cicada! You know, it's the end of summer. It's autumn and cold and windy where I live now, so you're probably going to go away. Ooh, I actually ate that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Snacking on some of our essence berries. Tastes like creeper. Apparently creeper tastes good. Hello, Bella. How are you? Hopefully we'll be spending some time with you in the potion room pretty soon. All right, let's go down here. Hopefully we'll be organizing the library soon. Oh man, it's so empty. It's like when you're moving and you empty a room and you turn around and you're like, wow. And it has that like little emotional punch that you weren't ready for. And you're like, where did that come from? Like emotionally, because you're like, everything's different. And you had months and months of getting used to it being the same. And now you take out all the furniture and you're like, huh, huh. That's kind of how this feels. But thankfully we're not moving and we're not going anywhere. This isn't going to be the end of zoo crafting for as long as I can see, because there's so many projects, so many projects, Nightlock. All right, you stay there. I just realized. Why are we here? We slept. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've been down in that basement for ages now, ages and ages and ages. And so I was just on automatic pilot. All right. Finally, I'm free. Jeez, that took a lot longer than... Oh, we were going to put those away. We can do that later. But yeah, that took a lot longer than I thought it would to cultivate everything, even with three cultivators going full speed. All right, Lily Tate, stay. You might smell something interesting and new. It's all right. It's a new friend who renders our, our ability to sleep in the staff lounge moot, but I'm not going to kill him. 
All right, and here we are. Ah, oh, so this is where the main scene of the show is going to be. The awesomeness that we are going to plant here. I'm so excited. So what we're going to do is we are going to plant these saplings first, and then we're going to try cutting one down as an experiment to see if we can get lots and lots of them. So actually, let's plant, um, let's see, waterfall there, fern, tree here. Ooh, what? <laughs> I have to build all the way up there. <laughs> this is gonna be the most, I don't remember the other ones being this tall. Sunflower, Sunflower, help me here. Help me here. I don't remember the other ones being this tall. Are the other ones this tall? Maintain height. The other ones are not this tall. Well, I guess they're kind of this tall. I did not remember them being that tall. <laughs> I have to build all the way up here with the glass. Oh, sunflower, this is going to take me eons. Okay, you know what I was just saying about that, about that experimental palm tree we're cutting down? Come here, puppy. You see nothing, sunflower. Just one. We're only going to cut one down. If they're all tall like that, then I'm just going to have to cope with it. But we're just going to cut this one down and see if we get any saplings. All right. Oh, wow, we did. We got two saplings already. That was nifty. Hey, you guys want to come down here? Come on. Bring me more saplings. All right. So, well, that was an unexpected, unexpected event. Let's fly up there with Sunflower and make sure we can get the last of those branches. All right, hold steady, girl. In fact, let's try getting them with our shears. We can turn them into giant fern trees with luck. All right, there's one. Good girl. Oh, she's so good at this. I really think, like, if we, we could do this as, like, an aerial race with the chocobo. Almost. Mm, almost. All right, sunflower. Let's try landing on it, sunflower. Can we do that? Are we that good? Sunflower, you are that good. Oh, I love you. She is so good at this. I mean, come on. If we can land, this is this is a perfect competition. All right, Sunflower. I don't think it's happening. Hold steady, girl. Hold steady. We have to take this out. We really can't plant our tree with this thing right here. Darling? Darling, you're overshooting it. You're overshooting it, Sunflower. <laughs> oh, dang it. You little brat! <laughs> Get down from there! Oh, we did it. I knew we had it in us, Sunflower. You are such a good girl. You are such a good girl. Alright, there we go. That bunny is like, what did I just witness? I don't know, bunny. That was, that was a little extreme, I know. Alright, let's see if this one's going to be that tall. And it is. <laughs> Alright. I will resign myself to building like the heck of the biggest ever greenhouse. This one's not that tall. Why can't you all be that way, eh? Oh well. There we go. I guess it's gonna look cool though. <laughs> Why do I always bite off more than I really have the ability to chew in these projects, eh? Oh well, it's gonna look cool because it's already looking pretty awesomely epic and prehistoric. So this will look really cool. In fact, maybe what we'll do is we'll just enclose it. Maybe we'll just enclose it like with the stone so that the ferns don't spread everywhere, but we won't actually enclose it with glass. <laughs> so it's like walking, you'll walk into it and it's a gardens. In fact, I think that'll look pretty good because look at it already. So we're not gonna enclose this entire thing with glass because I think I would lose my sanity because it took me three days just to build the temperate forest greenhouse. So trying to turn this into a greenhouse, I think I would go mad. So we're just gonna gently put these down. Did we do? Oh wow, they're huge sunflower. They're huge and beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm happier with that idea. All right, there we go. They have no problem growing into one another either. 
There we go. You know what? I think we'll leave these ones here and we can always add more since they, they don't seem to have any growth restrictions right next to each other. We can always add more in the future uh, if we need to. But let's see. Let's plant a few of our jungle saplings. Not all of them. We're going to reserve half the stack just in case because I'm quite worried about using up our jungle saplings since they're so hard to get our hands on sometimes. And let's see. Can you go there? Will you grow there? Whoops. Yep, you grew there. And we'll fill in some of the gaps between these guys with some smaller jungle trees, which seem to be just fine growing next to these guys. Oh, look at this. You guys, this is going to look so good when you come in here. And we're going to use like ferns. I'm going to turn this into a tropical forest biome so that the, the jungle trees are the proper color. We'll get all sorts of other trees. What other, what other trees do we have? Oh my gosh, look at these saplings. I'm like drooling now. Oh, look at these. <gasps> mm. Origin sapling, jungle sapling, loftwood sapling, hellbark sapling, palm sapling, mangrove sapling. So many saplings, so many trees to grow. Rubber sapling. I guess the rubber saplings would actually look pretty good in here because they turn into that darker colored shade. Uh, mahogany tree sapling. Where the heck are you? Oh, these would be the Tropicraft saplings. Uh-huh, we might actually collect a few of those palm trees to put in here too. But yeah, so this is pretty awesome. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, we could really pack the trees in pretty darn tight. Because it doesn't, it seems like the jungle trees don't care if they happen to be next to the other trees for growing. Good. Sunflower, this is fantastico. There we go. Nice! Sunflower! Oh, this is going to look awesome! Alright, and so we're going to do a little experiment. Because I haven't fully enclosed the area, I'm a little bit nervous about this. But what you need to do to spread these ferns is you take the ferns and you put the fern seeds under the leaves. And so the reason that we were going to enclose this is because these fern seeds apparently spread like wildfire. So I'm going to have to make sure that I come back and I finish enclosing it in stone. And I'm so relieved now that I've decided not to put glass around this entire thing. And I'm not done with the stone, uh, the stone face either. This was just to kind of mark the border so I knew where to begin. Because um, I was going to put glass on that and no way. I'm not putting glass on that. Are you kidding me? But I like the idea of as we find more plant fossils, all of our plant fossils will come in here and be turned into these magnificent trees. So it'll kind of mark how many plant fossils we've found. So that'll be fun. And then we've got our little jungle trees, and this basically is going to store all of our ferns. There are a lot of different kinds of ferns, because I think it'll be that nice, like, rich prehistoric era. And so any, any species of fern that is available, like the scaly tree ferns, um, the brake ferns, dwarf palmentos, hay-scented ferns, kangaroo ferns, maidenhair ferns, ostrich ferns, especially the epitite fragrant ferns, fern, just like the normal fern from Tropicraft, um, the Odessia fern, the sword ferns, all of those are going to come and be put in here. Sunflower darling, it is going to be night. Let us come over to my little campground real fast. Okay, careful, careful. Good landing! A plus 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 plus. Yeah, crawl in my little bed. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we have a pigment assistant now. The staff lounge is growing. We have more, more help in the staff lounge. Oh, this is gonna be so cool! Oh, a prehistoric pathway is just looking up all over the place. Alright, so, but yeah, we're gonna put a whole bunch of ferns over here. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous because they do spread pretty quickly. So I might regret this, but we're just going to put one little fern seed right there. <gasps> Look at it! It's just a teensy thing! An itty bitty little fern! So we're just going to put that one right there, and we're going to leave it alone, and we're going to see what happens. But the fern seeds from the Fossils in Archaeology mod can only spread if they go directly under leaves. So we'll use the jungle trees to spread those. Oh, and I'm hungry! Sunflower, I'm so hungry, I'm dying. I'm wasting away from all of the excitement. All of the hard work we've been doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sunflower, I don't know if I can make it to you. Oh, I made it to you. Whoops, I jumped right onto your back without meaning to. Well, that's exciting. But all right, let's head over here real fast. And let's do a quick fern check. And thankfully, to our wonderful plant sorting system, I know there's like two main places to look. One is over here. 
Oh, see, we have these like palm fronds. And so I'm thinking of taking like the palm fronds and these leaves, and then we will turn those into giant like custom ferns that we'll build ourselves and that we can build out of the uh, carpenter's blocks. Not, I don't think we could use them. Yeah, I mean, we could use the uh, like jungle leaves. We could collect jungle leaves actually. And we could use jungle leaves on the micro blocks mod and cut them into small pieces to build custom ferns. So I think we'll do that to mimic moss and things like that too. Oh, my coin purse. I knew I was gonna forget it in there. Oh my gosh, I forgot it in there for ages. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put my coin purse back in my house where it belongs. And then do I have any ferns in here? Nope. So we used up all of our Tropicraft ferns. That's what that tells me. All right, Sunflower. All right, let's come this way. Get, get some room for, for our, our heads so we don't bonk them. This is going to be amazing, you guys. I'm very excited about this. Oh, we're doing so much cool stuff. And we haven't even, like, started on the temperate forest aviary things yet. Or, or a whole bunch of other exhibits. We're getting better and better at this. All right, Sunflower. Oh, if you ever want any delicious fresh carrots or have some extra, come visit us. We love eating carrots as much as our rabbits do. Thank you, Flora. She is so darn cheerful. I love talking with Flora. All right. What? I think not, sir. No slime slimes around here. I have... Nope, 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 nope. Maybe one day when I have a place for you slime slimes in my stronghold where we will redo the stronghold to turn it into an amazing monster exhibit. But not right now, not when you could hurt my bunnies and everything else. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Wow, that was a lot of slime balls. All right, I really should hire some guards. I really should. All right, plant sorting system. Ferns. Ooh, I need to come in here and clear these out. Kangaroo ferns, sweet. So there's one type of fern. Sprouts. Hmm. I could consider sprouts. Here's another type of fern. I could consider ivy too. So we've got uh, some variety. There's some jungle leaves. I'll bring those just in case. Oh, hey, here's some wild carrots. Um, I don't see any other ferns. There is a twilight mangrove sapling in here, though. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be in here. <laughs> I can't remember like how I set up some of these sorting things. There's some shroom powder that should go. Oh. There's some dune grass. Oh, that'll be useful. Glad to know that's in here. Here's an ostrich fern. So there's another useful fern. Sword fern. Hey, scented fern. Look at us. We are on a roll already. This is what... Ooh, ivy. Yeah, we could. I could see using some ivy. Here's more ferns there. Mondo grass. A water plant. Spawns underwater. We'll take that one because I, I could use that one actually. Meadow grass. We'll take the moss too. I've already got plenty of vines. Uh, I don't need any bamboo. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of plants. I need to get in here and sort these. Oh, and add more chests because we're running out of room. Maidenhair fern. Good. I do love the maidenhair ferns. I'm partial to them. Hastened fern, sword fern. And I'm noticing that, like, if you don't specifically tell something to sort uh, into a certain chest, then they don't always go into the right chest. Like this blueberry bush should not be in here. I don't know why that's in here. Pine sapling, cord grass, normal fern, ostrich fern. There's more mondo grass. Let's see, here's more moss. Stinging nettle, reed mana grass. Leave that. I think that's all the ferns. Yep. I'm gonna grab that blueberry bush though. What are you doing in there? I have you set to go in a whole different area. AKA, ooh, actually, hmm. I'm just gonna straight up, like, plant them. Take that, blueberry bush. That's your punishment. Now you have rich, delicious soil. I don't think the bush is gonna care. <laughs> All right, and then let's go back and I will deliver these ferns to our fern area that we're building, our little fern greenhouse for our prehistoric pathway which is getting more and more epic by the day. I mean, look at this. Look at this. So cool. So cool, Sunflower. I am so pleased with this. And you are such a good flyer, Sunflower. I'm so proud of you. All right. Nice. Well, I actually don't want to plant these yet because I don't know exactly where I want to put them. So, Sunflower, I know this is a little silly of me. Hang on, I have to check. 
I don't have a crafting table, so you know what? Actually, that's something that a prepared adventurer should always have on herself. <sighs> do do do, crafting table. Um, very sorry, oakwood planks. I will pick you up in a second. Hang on. All right, crafting station, and then put it down. Collect you, and then we're gonna turn you into chest. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna come over, and I think the best place for me to do this is possibly like over here for now and I'm gonna have two chests and we're gonna leave all of the ferns and the palm plants the jungle sapling not the extras I need to put those in a safe place actually but all of these which are all of the plants we're going to be using in this area um and we'll leave our darling moonworm queen safely tucked away here for right now oh dear no actually I'm gonna put her safely back inside my house and here we go, you guys. So it's a slow but steady start, and I really like the look of it. We're going to be putting ferns and moss up in the corners of things. So we're going to be spreading moss along some of these these rocks, thanks to the carpenter's blocks. And we're going to be putting like little dirt blocks hidden uh, all around, and then put like the ferns on top of those. So we're gonna really deck this out. This is just the bare bones structure to give me an idea of where we're putting things. But we're gonna collect a lot more ferns, a lot more moss. Um, we're going to possibly build some giant custom ferns in here. And then right about here is gonna be the end of it where we pop out and we're gonna have our volcano and our walkthrough tunnel. And then of course we're going to work on our quaga exhibit right over there. And then right over here, just so you guys know, this little spit of land, which we will extend, smooth, kind of round out, will hold a terror bird, if we ever get a terror bird. It'll hold like one example of the plant-eating terror bird, and then you can see more of them when you get transported to our dinosaur area, which we haven't established yet. We probably will at some point, or we may just decide, hey calf, would you be kind enough to give us like one of your exhibits, and we'll like trip that exhibit out and trade for like working for him. Whew. I'm really happy with this. Like, this is actually pretty darn awesome. So I like how this turns out. And tomorrow is another wonderful Saturday special. And I actually have a very unique idea in mind, Sunflower, because we need to take care of our quagga and we need to take care of our horses. And that means we need to go rediscover horse meadows. Because as you guys know, we moved servers and now my, my waypoints, I have no waypoints. It's really sad. So we actually have to go and discover where the heck Horse Meadows is again. So that's going to be a fun adventure, Sunflower. I hope we can pull that off okay. Oh, there's a lovely Luna Moth. I love those Luna Moths. Oh my gosh, I thought that tree moved and I thought we had an int right there. So it, made, it startled me for a second. But thank you so much for joining us, guys. As always, it's been so amazing. I'm so excited. Whoops, sorry, Sunflower. I'm so happy with... Oh, look at that. You can see that amazing jungle faded into the distance over there. That is truly an amazing prehistoric pathway. Ah, I can't wait to see more of that built with you guys. All right, tomorrow we're gonna get back to adventuring so we can take care of our lovely quagga. I see two right there. Do, I, do we have others? I'm gonna check on our quagga, make sure everyone's all right, and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye.